I'm just one person who through these gifts has been given an opportunity to come here and learn these things that I can go home and could hopefully change the lives of thousands of people. Because education is not just about that degree, it's about forming that community and being educated in the sense that you meet the other people in your peer group. I certainly don't think I would have done everything I've done so far if not for this experience. And that is just because someone thought to give. And I know that me being here is not a waste. I'm going to use this opportunity to learn as much as I can. I've met some of the oldest Southern African road scholars and that's been really incredible and inspiring to see what they've gone back and done. And that, in a way, has also shaped my understanding of what this opportunity means to me. The major problems that are facing the world today are all international and interstate in nature. These are problems that require global solutions with people from different countries working together. And I think the Rhodes Trust is a fantastic place to start. Brilliance can be channeled into many endeavours and the Rhodes Scholarship ensures that brilliance is channeled into this very specific endeavour um, of, of making the world a better place. When you look at the things that Rhodes Scholars have done and what the opportunity that the Rhodes Scholarship has given people, I definitely think people should support it. One should give to the Rhodes Trust because you're directly changing lives. And through changing those lives, there's a multiplier effect. In almost every avenue of social change and justice that you can imagine. We are so different. Not just because of where we come from, but who we are. Like our backgrounds, our families are so different. Our value systems are so different, but we have this one common thing is that we have a passion about something and so far we've tried in whatever ways we can to do something about that. The warden said to me, there's no such thing as a former Rhodes Scholar, you're always a Rhodes Scholar. And I think people should keep that in mind. There'll always be a part of me that will feel very much a, a part of this Rhodes community, um, just from the friendships and the lifelong bonds that I've made, but also that sense of real gratitude to the Rhodes Trust for doing all that they've done um, to make this incredible opportunity possible for me. Um, that sense of thankfulness and gratitude will um, live in me for, I think, as long as I live.